Imagine a fighter jet first flown in the 1970s that is still soaring in the skies today. The Israeli Kfir has survived decades of technological evolution, upgrades, and global service, proving that age doesn't always ground a warplane. Let's explore why this legendary jet is still flying strong after 40 years. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of Israel's most iconic fighter jets, the Fur. First flown in 1973 and introduced into service in 1975, the Kfir was built to give Israel a homegrown air superiority solution, combining the French Dassault Mirage 5 airframe with a powerful American General Electric J79 engine and advanced Israeli avionics. Over 40 years later, this jet continues to operate not in Israel's front line inventory, but in countries like Colombia, Sri Lanka, and Ecuador, as well as in private defense contractor fleets for aggressor training exercises. The question many ask is, how does a fighter jet stay relevant for so long? The answer lies in a combination of robust design, continuous upgrades, and versatility. The KFIR was built for durability and adaptability from the start, making it possible for air forces worldwide to modernize and extend its operational life. Over the next sections, we'll explore its design upgrades, combat history, and why this aircraft has earned a reputation as of the fur was born out of necessity during Israel's conflict, heavy 1960s and 1970s. Israel required a fast, agile, and capable fighter jet that could be produced domestically under the constraints of international arms restrictions. The solution was the Mirage airframe, modified with the more powerful J-79 turbojet engine, giving it increased thrust, better climb rates, and higher speed compared to the original Mirage 5. Israeli engineers also upgraded avionics, adding advanced radar navigation, and weapon systems suitable for both air to air and air to ground missions. The resulting aircraft combined proven aerodynamics with cutting edge power and electronics, allowing Israel to maintain air superiority over adversaries with fewer jets. From the start, the Kfir was designed with adaptability in mind. Its modular avionics made future upgrades possible which explains why decades later, it can still be integrated with modern weaponry, targeting pods and avionics. Its aerodynamic design, speed and reliability made it a capable fighter in both dogfights and strike missions, ensuring that even 40 years later, it could still compete effectively with more modern aircraft when properly upgraded. The Kfir quickly proved itself in service. While Israel mainly used it for air superiority and strike missions, it also served in reconnaissance and training roles. Its first real combat experiences came in the late 1970s and 1980s, where it conducted ground attack missions and demonstrated its agility against older adversary aircraft. Despite not engaging in large scale wars as often as other jets, its operational history reflects reliability and versatility. After Israel began phasing out the Kfir in favor of F-16s and F-15s, the aircraft found a second life abroad. Colombia used FIRS in counter insurgency and border patrol operations, while Sri Lanka employed them for strike missions during internal conflicts. Even decades later, these jets proved capable of delivering precision strikes with modern munitions after avionics upgrades. Its longevity is a testament to Israel's forward thinking design, ensuring that the airframe could remain operational well beyond its expected service life. The KFIR's combat history not only showcases its versatility, but also explains why operators around the world continue to trust this 40-year-old fighter jet. What keeps the KFIR relevant today is continuous modernization. Over the decades, Israeli engineers and foreign operators have upgraded its radar, avionics, and weapon systems multiple times. Modern KFIRs, such as the C-10 variant, now feature advanced multi-mode radars, glass cockpits, heads-up displays, and compatibility with precision-guided munitions. These upgrades allow the jet to perform missions that would have been impossible with the original 1970s configuration. The aircraft can now integrate with modern command and control systems linked with GPS, 
guided munitions, and even carry advanced air to air missiles like the Python series. Maintenance and structural upgrades also extend the airframe's life, replacing or reinforcing critical components to keep it operational. With each iteration, the k has retained its speed, agility, and ruggedness while gaining modern electronic warfare capabilities. This combination of old and new demonstrates a philosophy in fighter design. A durable airframe plus modular electronics equals longevity. Even after 40 years, k operators can conduct missions with confidence, proving that continual investment in upgrades is the key to keeping older jets relevant in modern combat scenarios. Though Israel retired the k from frontline service in the 1990s, the jet continues to fly worldwide thanks to exports. Colombia, Sri Lanka, and Ecuador have operated upgraded KFIRs for decades, performing air defense, counterinsurgency, and strike roles. In some cases, private defense contractors in the United States use KFIRs as aggressor aircraft, simulating enemy jets for fighter pilot training. The jet's durability, high speed, and maneuverability make it ideal for these roles. Export operators often retrofit the KFIR with modern avionics and weapon systems ensuring that even decades after its first flight, it remains capable in tactical scenarios. These global operations demonstrate that the airframe's lifespan is not defined solely by age, it's defined by maintenance, modernization, and operational use. The KFIR's continued presence in air forces worldwide is a rare example of a fighter jet a achieving a lifespan that exceeds four decades while still retaining tactical relevance proving that well-engineered aircraft can outlive many newer competitors. The k is a supersonic fighter capable of Mach 2 speeds, with excellent climb rates and agility thanks to the J-79 turbojet engine. Its lightweight airframe and delta wing design allow sharp maneuvers, making it a formidable dogfighter. Despite its age, Upgraded KFIRs can still carry modern missile systems and guided bombs, allowing them to perform air, to air and air, to ground missions effectively. High thrust to weight ratio gives it impressive acceleration, while modern avionics assist pilots with navigation, targeting, and situational awareness. The aircraft's performance characteristics, combined with decades of maintenance and upgrades, allow operators to fly missions comparable to modern fourth generation fighters. The k continued flight performance after 40 years highlights its original design's robustness, proving that a well-engineered fighter can remain operational long past its expected service life. Part of the reason the k is still flying is meticulous maintenance and structural reinforcement. Operators routinely inspect and replace critical components, refurbish engines, and upgrade electronics. The Mirage-based airframe was designed to handle stress and high-speed maneuvers, which makes it durable over decades. With proper maintenance schedules, replacement parts, and avionics updates, k can remain flight ready even after 40 years. This combination of a robust airframe and rigorous maintenance explains why the aircraft continues to serve in both national air forces and private contractor fleets, defying the usual lifespan limitations of older jets. The Kerr is a prime example of how engineering, logistics, and modernization extend the life of military technology. Despite its age, the Kerr remains relevant in modern tactical scenarios. Upgraded k can conduct precision strike missions, perform close air support, and serve as aggressor aircraft in pilot training. Its combination of speed, maneuverability, and modern avionics ensures that it can simulate enemy aircraft or perform real-world missions effectively. While it may not compete with fifth-generation fighters like the F-35, it remains a cost-effective and capable solution for countries needing supersonic jets with upgraded combat systems. Its operational relevance proves that legacy aircraft can continue to deliver value decades after their introduction, bridging the gap between older designs and modern requirements. The Kfir is more than a fighter jet. It's a testament to Israeli aerospace ingenuity. 
By combining foreign design with domestic innovation, Israel produced a jet capable of evolving with technological changes. The Kafer's success inspired later Israeli projects and influenced export strategies worldwide. Its longevity global service and continuous modernization serve as a model for extending the life of fighter aircraft. The aircraft demonstrates how durability, adaptability, and forward-looking upgrades can preserve operational relevance, ensuring that even a 40-year-old jet can continue to contribute meaningfully to air, defense, and pilot training worldwide. In conclusion, the Kfir fighter jet is still flying after 40 tough years because of a combination of robust design, ongoing modernization, versatile performance, and global operators maintaining and upgrading the aircraft, it remains a, a capable platform for air defense, strike missions, and training roles worldwide. The Kfir proves that with careful engineering, investment in upgrades, and rigorous maintenance, even older jets can remain relevant in modern air combat scenarios. Its story is a testament to innovation, resilience, and adaptability in military aviation. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the K Fur Fighter Jet, hit the like button, share this video with fellow aviation enthusiasts, and subscribe to the channel for more in depth analysis of legendary military aircraft. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified about our next video uncovering the secrets of iconic fighter jets around the world.